Hello everyone, this is Resident Evil 5, no damage, professional difficulty, no upgrades, no inventory menu, no shop, and all that good stuff. And this is me redoing a commentary because I messed up. Yes! I really like when that happens. It's such a joy. I'm just giving you a little bit of the commentary a little bit and then uh, the video is like no you forgot to edit this part and then you realize it, you just oh my god why so I'm going to make a, a little bit of an effort to to try to go through the things that I talked about in the, uh, in the other part mm, and the thing is that I didn't really talk about much because I was just talking how I didn't like this area because when I was a kid it was really spooky it was spooky, it was hard, it was a difficulty spike but uh, you know it was that just it, it's, it doesn't matter and uh, you know I'm just going to talk about uh, how you do this I guess that's, that's how it is I mean this is not a walkthrough because walkthroughs, uh, I mean, if you, if you want to make a walkthrough, you need to actually know what you're doing. And I don't really know what I'm doing in this game. I'm just doing my thing, you know. I'm just playing the game the way I know. And uh, it's kind of bad. I mean, what can I say? And I'm going to go to this island because there's a treasure uh, I don't really need a treasure so I don't know why I'm going here but you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to look for a snake is there a snake on the floor? do you see a snake? do you see a snake? because Sheva gets damaged here I don't know why look at that boom she got damaged like where? is there a snake? if it's not a snake it was a chicken but I need not chickens could damage you in this game like look at that little chicken she just damaged Sheva it was quite a bit of damage too. Damn, that's damn chicken. And now I'm going to the real uh, part in the game you are supposed to go. And there's, there's going to be the crocodiles here. There, I don't think they are a problem at all. Even though I died to one once, GG, because I didn't remember their range. I thought their range was kind of limited. But now nah, their range is actually quite good. If you're, I was trying to go near him, like at the side, because if I thought you know he's not gonna bite me in the side, but he just he just did it. And I was really surprised. So I'm just trying to make sure Chev is with me. You don't really need her in here, even though you kind of need her, but I don't know. And now um, there's just one area you need to go. I don't. I don't really go and pick up that stuff. I'm kind of afraid to trigger enemies. I just want to get over with this area because the, the enemies in here are quite hard. This is the difficulty spike enemies. They are not as simple to deal with as the normal Magini because some of them have uh, masks and the masks just prevent them to get flinched from headshots. So you need leg shots and leg shots are kind of tricky. Uh, I mean, tricky to you know to do the to do the uppercut because sometimes they fall. Uh, so it's kind of hard. I mean, you could hook them with, and shooting in the arm and hook them, and then Sheva does the the cool kick. I don't like doing that because I never did it. Not used to it. So yeah, uh, I'm going to avoid fights basically. Uh, in this area, I'm just going to avoid them. The next area, it's a little bit harder than this, um, because the enemies will be in your way. So, but it's okay you, if you have the shotgun, well, the fully loaded shotgun. The, it's not a problem. You just you, you just need to put them down, because uh, even though they are armored, the enemies here and they're a little bit tougher. They they still get. Uh, stun with the shotgun they still get you know projected there's a i think these i i'm gonna be honest i think these dudes are the hardest dudes in the game you could say the military dudes are hard because they have vests and they have you know they, they have uh, armored pants you know they 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 strong 
but to me, I don't know, I, I think these guys are the hardest. I think maybe it's because they look intimidating. They look intimidating and they have all this protection in their face and they have shields and I'm like, oh, I think this, I think it's because they, they were such a, such a difficulty spike. You know, the first time I played this game, I was like, oh my god, these guys are really the real deal. So they eat stuck with me. With the military guys, not so much, because I, I got used to these guys. And the military guys, they just... they are, I guess they're the same as these guys, but with armored stuff. So you can't really break break their masks, because they don't have... They have steel, you know, gas masks. And their shields, too. Their shields are... are uh, steel shields or whatever you call metal shields and these guys are not so the, I guess they're the military guys are kind of harder but they're not they don't look as threatening look at these dudes look at this look at how threatening they look and Sheva saved me like that I was ready to restart but I was like you know what I'm just just gonna take my chance to see if Sheva is gonna help me she did good job good job but yeah did look? Did you look how threatening those guys uh, look? They look uh, really scary, and this is not a scary game, but they they just look uh, they look amazing. The guy who does who just the, the design from that enemy, good job. They look really scary. The military dudes don't really look that scary. They just look like military dudes, just like the, the Resident Evil Four military dudes, and the Resident Evil Four military dudes they. They were kind of intimidating at first because they were different. They and they're the last part of the game, and it's the toughest part of the game, I guess. But to me, the the most the in terms of visual design, the most intimidating enemies are the the castle dudes. The castle dudes, those dudes are kind of scary. They have that the hoodie and shit. They can they 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 be talking that nonsense. They whisper the that the, the uncomprehensible nonsense. Oh, so they're kind of the they scare, but they they're not hard to take out. They're kind of they they they're just like the normal ganados, but they have a shield sometimes, and they have a different mutation. My La plug Las Plagas mutation. I mean, two different ones. But then this uh, the enemy will spawn right in front of you. Just shotgun him, and that will be it. You come from the window. Best place to come here, and then through the door. If there's no one in front, you can destroy shields uh, very quickly with the shotgun if you are near. But if you are at distance, mm, doesn't work. So be sure to just speed through here if you are in the same restrict restrictions as me. Uh, don't bother pe uh, looking around, you'll get uh, shred by the enemies. And we're transition right here. Uh, I restarted the checkpoint because Sheva uh, didn't have ammo to for the next part, so I needed to give her ammo. And the enemies don't despawn if you restart checkpoint, which is kind of weird because they always do in the other parts of the game. But that's alright. The part coming up is really bad like oh man Sheva please you need to count on Sheva to do things for this part it's like oh man come on so she needs to take out that guy in the tower so we can progress and there's no other way to do it uh, unless you take out the dudes here maybe if you were with a uh, a co-op partner you could snipe the guy in the tower but uh, you know I'm with the AI so I have to deal with this if you stand near the tower, Sheva will pri prioritize the dude in the tower, but the the guys in the with the arrows they will just shred you if you wait too long for Sheva to aim. So just do it like this. I mean, there's no other way. If there is, if you can skip this, if you can get through this without wasting anything, without having even having ammo. I would do it, because I just don't like it. And that's it for this area. This area is kind of fun, I guess. Even though it kind of scarred me when I, when I was a kid. Playing this game. For the first time, it's like, oh my god, it's big, it's intimidating. 
you know, it, it, there's these enemies, they're really strong, but it's nothing, it's really nothing, unless you fight them, if you fight every single one of them, okay, good luck. And I'm going to reload the shotgun. And as you can see, my inventory is almost full, I have three spaces, two spaces now. I'm keeping healing items, but you'll see in the future that I'm just going to... I'm just going to get rid of my healing items because they are just they just taking all the space. I'm not even going to buy armor for Sheva so she doesn't die in one hit because I need their, that space from the armor. And I'm not I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing. I I didn't notice the guy in the tower at first, but there's a dude in the tower, you know. Sheva will get rid of him. So be sure not to get hit by him. I think I got lucky not to get hit by him, but alright. That's all good. And then there's going to be a checkpoint over here. Boop. And I'm going to put the rocket launcher in there so I can uh, you know, select it quickly. Uh, I'm playing on PC. Uh, I've already said this before. But on PC you need to... It's not the arrow direction to switch weapons like in, in the if you play with the controller, it's the number. So each row it's a keyboard number. So you need to put it in rows instead of the up and down and left and right because of the d-pad. You have to put the number way thing. I'm, I'm going to line these guys up. It's kind of tricky. It took me a few attempts to line them up. But they're lined up. I'm just going to, to hurry and just, just dispatch them really quick. And uh, Once you kill the, the, the two big dudes, uh, it seems that no more enemies will spawn. Because I think if you keep killing and killing and killing uh, if, with the two big dudes here, I think the enemies will always keep spawning. I mean, it, it feels like when I did it without the rocket launcher. And I'm already kind, kind of struggling for space. I'm giving herbs to Sheva. I, I shouldn't really do that. But I, I, I don't really need space now, even though I need. I will need in a moment. But uh, when I realize that, I'll just say, I'll just get rid of those healing items for her and that's it i mean i'm just picking up stuff i'm just doing some exploration in this game i guess it's kind of important to show the exploration to see you know what i did and you can already see what i'm doing right here i'm just getting rid of those healing items look at that she's full or not and she kicked the ladder for some reason Oh man, this is gonna be. Uh, this is basically the end of the chapter. Uh, there's really nothing to say. Just picking up some stuff. I don't know if you can pick the magnum up yet. If you haven't done this, I would assume you can't. I would assume you need to first go over here and open the the, the thing, or you know, open that door, so that. The, the, the enemies just despawn or something, so I, I'm not going to risk it because it was kind of tricky to line up those two dudes with the rocket launcher. So I'm just going to tell Sheva to you now do the bridge thing, do that. I'm going to um, just going to collect some items, it's nothing, it's just the game, you know, playing the game. If this, if this had sound, if the audio wasn't muted. I would probably just not commentate this part, it would be like, you know, it's, it's done, bye, I guess that's it, even though, if this had audio, I, was, I, was, I wouldn't be commentating in the first place, yeah, sorry about that, uh, I know I started this commentary, but it was just to give sound to this, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not really looking to commentate the rest of the of the game, I'm, I'm really not, I don't even think I finished the last chapter, uh, no I didn't, well, 
I think I'm going to... The next chapter will be half muted, half no sound, because I, I still didn't finish it. So... I guess I'll comment it the, the first vi that video and then after that I'm just going not to comment it. I'm sorry, man. I, I know I'm too good at commentary, man. But I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm not in the mood. I'm, it's not like I'm forcing myself right now. I, I just... I can't have the gameplay without something on it. And as I said before, music would be lame. So I'm just going to be commentating it. I wonder uh, if people will, will, you know, care. I'm trying my best to to do at least a decent commentary, but I'm just, I'm just no. But it was good. I mean, uh, it was it it was a long time since I did a commentary. When was the last time I did? I think it was in Bayonetta, my Bayonetta run. I think that was cool, but no. Uh, I don't, I'm not in the mood. And this is my favorite game, Resident Evil game, so... Maybe a special game. But I don't think I'm in the mood. <laughs> so I said this like... 30 times. Just pick up the herb. Man... Watching the exploration is just... Tedious. I know pe I'm keeping it because people want to see what I'm doing. I'm uh, like, people be like, oh my god, you're cheating, man. You didn't show me that part where you pick up the moon. You're cheating. Um, but I'm not. I'm, I'm just killing the dudes. You only need to see me killing the dudes. I mean, that's the not damage part. But people really want to see it, I guess just makes the videos long and takes the longer the videos the longer they take to upload so I when it's a game where exploration is not really important I just I just cut that that all out so I can just upload the videos like in Yakuza I mean what would you gain from seeing me going to restaurants eat and going from A to B just nothing but that's it you know, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next video and the next video is going to be the, the last one with commentary. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.